Hey guys, how's it going? It's Molly. I am here today to do a chatty get ready with me. I have been filming this intro for 15 minutes. Yikes. Big freaking yikes. That's crazy. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't filmed in a while and I'm just rusty. I feel like this is what I say in every freaking video that I do. And it's at this point a bit embarrassing. Um, am I going to do this YouTube thing or am I not? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to sit down, do my makeup and chat with you guys about what I've been up to, where I've been, uh, and what I have coming up. So <sighs> without further ado, let's get started. I'm not going to spend a ton of time like talking about the products. I'll tell you what I'm using, but it's not going to be like a step-by-step -step tutorial or review or any of that stuff. I'm literally just going to be doing my makeup and talking at you. So um, so far what I have done, cause I did film some of this already, but I'm scratching that footage because it was just one giant ramble, which I think this probably will be as well. Um, anyways, a primer lid with the Ulta eye primer. And then I also, I've already moisturized with my very expensive, very luxe Trader Joe's and Rich moisturizing face lotion. Don't judge me. Um, you wouldn't dare. And then I applied the good mole, good molecules. <laughs> Good Molecules Pure Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil. Uh, we just got back from vacation and my skin is real dry. It's real parched. We were in the desert. We went to New Mexico. Um, it, oh my God. Like it was so dry my nose was peeling. I've never experienced that before. I've experienced chapped lips, which I had. Still have. It's been, we've been back for five days now. My lips are angry. But it, like the nose on my skin, the skin on my nose was breaking apart. I, putting foundation on looked atrocious. So that is neither here nor there. I'm gonna start with my eyes. First up, we're going to be using eye, excuse me, I have the coffee burps. Hmm. Um, sorry, my cousin just sent me something on my phone, which is what I'm filming with, so I can't look at it. Uh, All I know is I have coffee burps. So that's all. <laughs> the thought is God. Um, I'm going to be using the Tardis Pro palette. Here's what she looks like. She is beautiful, very versatile. You've got warm tones up top, neutral, or I don't know, cool tones, berry tones, and more neutrals. So I'm excited. I'm going to use the warm tones. I'm feeling the warm tones. I've been loving warm tones. I've been loving neutrals. Uh, um, I've been kind of pulling away from color a little bit, like quite a bit. I was never like a full on color fanatic, but I'm new, neutral palettes. Well, they're not neutral though. They're either warm tone, cool tone, or neutral, right? Natural palettes, but browns, browns are having a moment and I'm here for it. I, I never stopped loving them. I've always been a fan girl. So anyway, um, <clears throat> <laughs> Let me talk to you about my vacation. So we generally go on a trip at least once a year. We I, More often is preferable for me. I love to travel. Um, and this year we decided to go visit my brother and his family. They recently, like last year, last August, they moved to New Mexico from Austin, Texas, where they had been living for a long time, like 10 years maybe? I don't know. Anyways, they bought some land up in the mountains of New Mexico and we went and stayed with them. Um, well, we stayed we stayed at a property really close to them that my mom is actually renting. Long story, she lives here with my dad, but she's gonna be going down there. She actually lives today, um, but she started renting at the beginning of August. She's gonna be down there for like two months, six weeks, two months, whatever. She says six weeks. My brother says he's going to keep her longer. We'll see. We'll see about that. Um, I'm happy for her. She's going to get to spend some time with the grandkids down there, which she doesn't really... I mean, she goes down there probably two, three, four times... Uh, two or three times a year, probably. Um, she's retired, so she has plenty of flexibility in that area. But anyway, she's going to go down there and stay for an extended stay. And she's renting this casita which is just like this one room house. And we got to stay in there for free. So it was like, it, it, it was really nice. 
and ended up being a very cost-effective vacation. But even a cost-effective vacation is like a, at least a grand for us because just boarding one dog for a week is $300. And we have to board um, our pit bull because he is kind of a jerk. We love him very much, but he's dog aggressive, um, which if you're going to comment about pit bulls, uh, please be educated about it. There are very wonderful pit bulls, just like any other breed. There can be some that have some issues and he unfortunately has some issues. He's just this like alpha sort of dog and that's just how he is. Like I thought that I socialized him well, I maybe didn't. <laughs> um, obviously didn't do enough and at this point it's like I don't know how to he's nine he's happy he's living a good life he just doesn't have a whole lot of doggy friends he has our other dog and when he goes then he'll have no dogs and that does kind of suck but anyways that's not what this video is about so I could probably spend the whole time talking about pets but I feel like people who aren't pet love like dog or cat lovers would be super bored so, um, anyways, we went and stayed down there. We had a lot of fun. It was, it was nice because they're in a rural part of New Mexico. Cell service isn't really a thing. So we, like, none of us were just like sitting on our phones. Um, we did a lot of stuff outside. We went camping one night <clears throat> and that was really nice. We went up like in the mountains and camped at this really beautiful campsite. We went on a little hike found some ponds, some mountain ponds to swim in. Um, and then like the next day we found this river valley and went swimming in a stream and the water was super, super cold, but we just, we just, we had a great time. It's nice because my, my brother and sister-in-law, they don't like, they're not consumerist people. Like they're, they're, they're not consumers really. They're, they're those people that they, they have what they have and that's good enough for them. Like they're not just out blowing money on things that they don't need. <laughs> Quite the opposite of, of me. Um, but so it's, it was nice that like, we didn't feel this need to like go souvenir shopping and all this other bull crap. We had told my oldest that he could have a hundred dollars to spend on the trip and he only spent like 50. We went into Taos one day and that's like an hour from where they live. Um, and we did a little bit of shopping just, you know, we went to this toy store. My nephews wanted to go to this toy store that also was like part of this outdoor play space, which was really cool. So we went there and the boys got to pick out a toy. And so yeah, and then I think I found a pair of earrings along the way somewhere. Um, so, but it was it was just nice not feeling this need to consume. You know, I feel like sometimes, especially on vacation, like I fall victim to the like, I want something to remember the trip by. I'm gonna buy all of this, and it's just stupid. It's it is kind of stupid, but I do love to shop. I gotta say, I'm a I'm a fan. I'm a fan of shopping. I I wish I wasn't. But I am. Um, it's, yeah. It, it, it's up and down. Sometimes I'm like really into shopping and other times I'm like, nah, I don't really need anything. Anyway. <clears throat> so we, we did that and then I don't, the rest of the time was really just spent to think we went up to this town red river one day um it's like a ski town which i didn't even know new mexico had i i didn't realize new mexico had like mountain mountains i thought they were just like you know like the foothills of the colorado rockies but no it's part of the rockies sheesh um geography it's been a minute right i haven't been to school for a while it was a nice refresher for geography my my geography skills um so yeah we went up to red river and that it was like it's a touristy town but not really bad like i don't know it was nice we had we had a good time it reminded me a lot of oh i can't remember the name of the town but it's right up by 
It's in Wyoming. It's by Grand Teton. This is gonna bug me. But I, yeah, I cannot, I don't for the life of me remember what it was called. Jackson, it reminded me a little bit of Jackson. Not as bougie or expensive because Jackson is crazy expensive. Or Jackson Hole, I guess is what it is. It's like rich, rich people living up in Jackson Hole. We went, we did Yellowstone and the Grand Tetons back in 2019, I think. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful up here. What if we relocated? Which is not going to happen. Um, my son's, my oldest dad would have something to say about that, I'm sure. But rightfully so. Um, but... I mean, even modest houses for like $500,000. It was crazy. And that was back in 2018. Now I can't even imagine what they are because now modest houses here where I live. <sighs> no, not modest houses. Nice houses are 500000 But anyway, I'm rambling. What else is new? Um, I'm going to put my hair back for the foundation stage of this. So vacation, even though it was like, it, it felt like we weren't spending a lot of money. It was still a thousand dollars because we broke the trip down and back up into like two half days of travel instead of like one 11 hour drive. So, like, the way down, we stopped at, like, a town in western, well, west central Nebraska. We left after work last Wednesday. Um, and then had to get a hotel on the way back. We also did the same. And so, I mean, that was, like, 300 total. And then the... Um, the dog boarding and then like we went out to eat I think I mean on the way down and back and then twice while we were there so yeah I mean it was it was at least a thousand dollars you just I don't know travel isn't cheap but like if you prioritize it it's just part of your expenses however this year I was totally knit up we had like 15 grand in expenses that we just hadn't planned for um two ER trips a new transmission both of my both of our vehicles needed new tires I needed new tie rods um, other medical stuff like it just it was an expensive year plus then just the cost of living and inflation being what it was I was like how are we gonna afford a vacation and honestly we should have put that money towards credit card debt but we can't not go on vacation I'm it's not a sacrifice I'm willing to make I know that's ridiculous, but, and putting another thousand dollars towards our credit card debt isn't, we wouldn't pay it off. It would get us close, but anyway, doesn't matter. We're fine. Everything's fine. Um, the foundation I just used is a Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. I'm, it's okay. I can't see it being a repurchase. Um, and then this is the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer, which I do really, really like and probably would repurchase. So, yeah, our, our vacation, it was nice. I came home feeling relaxed, rejuvenated. It's always good to see my brother and sister-in-law and their family. Cousin time is lovely. And now, pivoting to the next topic at hand, school starts tomorrow. Oh, dear God. <laughs> so, my, I... For those of you who don't know, I have a 12 year old and a soon to be three year old. My two year old's birthday is in four days. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> he was just born. I don't know how it happened. It goes so fast. Um, oh, although I will say, so when my oldest was little, I used to cry so much about him growing up and I don't know. I don't know what it was. I just, I loved him being little. And like, I don't know if there was this, like, the fear of the un, 
the gradual like independence that they get. Like, I'd never wanted to not be needed. In, in hindsight, like I was probably fairly codependent on him. <laughs> but um, with this, with my youngest, I, I, I don't, I'm not quite as like sappy about it. You know what I mean? I, I think it's because I've realized with my oldest that like, yes, they grow, but like it's every stage has it's like goods and bads, right? Like there's, I don't know what I was afraid of. I, I don't know. I don't know. They just, I don't know. That's, that's it. Parenting. I don't know. Let's move on. Um, so anyways, next tomorrow school starts for my oldest. Obviously my two year old is not going to school. Um, and I don't know how I'm feeling about it, man. Like last week I was just, I was like, I'm ready. I'm ready for him to go back to school, to get back into a routine. But now I'm realizing what all that entails. Like, first of all, well, not first of all, but one of the things is um, like early, early mornings, right? Which I am not like, I get up usually around five o'clock anyways, even on weekends, it's my me time. I just, I like to ease into my day. Um, I joined the five o'clock club a long, long time ago and I do, it's, it's important to me. Um, on mornings that I don't have that, I feel very like out of sorts. Oh, not there. I'm getting more adaptable, but yeah. Anyway, so he's starting school. The main thing that has me like, oh shit, is the bullying. He's, he's in middle school, right? 12, going into seven. And the bullying is atrocious at this age. I don't know if it's this school. <clears throat> I don't think so. I think it's just the age. And I remember when he was little, I was just like, thank God he's a boy. He won't have to deal with like the psychological warfare that mean girls inflict, right? Like, I, I, I don't know why I thought that he was somehow immune to it but his bully last year bullies were all girls oh my gosh and I'm sorry but I'm not gonna say what I say about them on camera because um this video might get taken down I don't think YouTube does that that's TikTok they're just they're feral and I I hate them I hate them. I know they're kids, but like at this age, you know better. You know better. You know better than to do the things that they were doing. And so I, I think they're just, they're bad apples, right? Like, especially there's this one girl in particular who y'all somehow. So like we started hearing this girl's name from my son in like September, so like early on in the school year, about how like she was just picking on him. I was like, what, just ignore her, who cares? She's just probably just some like miserable kid, which I still think is true. I think she is a miserable human being um, who doesn't know how to cope with her feelings and clearly needs like professional help. I don't know if she's getting it or not. Not my business. Um, but I mean, it just kept on going. Like she, at one point she was trying to get a male friend of hers to beat my son up. Um, it got so bad. Eventually she got his phone number somehow. She and this other girl, Claire and Emma, got his phone number and Told, called him every name under the book, used homophobic slurs, um, and made sexual references that were just super inappropriate. And then 
told him to kill himself. I don't know how I had the self-control that I did. The rage that I felt. Like, I am a mama bear. Like, I, I know at the risk of sounding really cliche and stupid, it's true. And I think most mothers are. I think most mothers are like, I will destroy you if you hurt my baby. <laughs> Um, and I, like I said, I know that they're kids, but that, that is a level of just pure evil that I can't quite get behind. Um, I just realized I haven't been telling you the products. Sorry. Did I do blush yet? I did not. Um, Marc Jacobs, this one, this discontinued, but, um, Smartorial palette. This blue shade, you guys, I, it's amazing. I love it for a lo lower lash line. Um, bronzer, Nabla, Skin Bronzing Bronzer, and Juvia's Place White Sands. I am Magic Setting Powder. That's what that was. Oh, and then the cream bronzer was the Makeup Revolution. This stuff's great. Um, I got all, like, hyped up about what's going on. So, anyway, um... Considering everything that happened last year and how it affected my son, I think that's that's definitely why I'm feeling a little bit maybe apprehensive. Like, I'm still excited for him. I'm excited that he's, you know, he's going to be back in school. He's going to be seeing his friends on a more regular basis. I feel like this summer is kind of weird normally. We have friends over, you know, at least every couple of weeks, if not more often. And like, I think we had his friends over twice, all summer. We had one, one time we had like his like group of friends. And then just this past Saturday, we had one of his oldest friends um, over. And they go to the same school, but they're not really in the same group. It's just, you know, social dynamics are hard. But the, I mean, they have so much love for each other. And I don't know, I've encouraged him to like try and just keep an open mind and be friends with whoever, um, which I think he's, he's working on. I think he's very like aware that he's just not necessarily everybody's like cup of tea. I don't know. He's a great kid, big heart, lots of love for people. Um, and I just, I cannot believe that those girls were so mean to him and, you know, seeing how they treated him and how it affected him was, it was really, really devastating last year. Um, the blush I'm using is Captivating by Tarte. It's one of their Amazonian clay blushes. I love it. Um, so anyways, there's definitely some apprehension with the prospect of him starting school. He's not supposed to have any classes with that girl. I demanded, it was like May, end of April, early May last year when she got a hold of his phone number and sent him all of those terrible messages. Um, so, but I, I, I went straight to the top, which is generally what I would do. Like I just, I, you know, there was another situation where I called and I was like, I need to talk to administration now. And they, his school was really good about that. They were just like, absolutely, here you go. Um, but, ah, anyway, I, and I'm like, I, I'm not that parent who's just like, like all in all the time. Like I give him some space to figure it out himself, but this was really like the stuff that was going on was stuff that I was just like, no, I also need to show him that I've got his back and I'm not just going to allow somebody to treat him like that. Um, it's not okay. So, cause I know like when I was a kid, I was bullied and my parents were very much like, she'll figure it out. It'll be fine. And they didn't, they, I don't, I don't know that they did anything to help me in this situation other than like, give me some pep talks, you know, but, and I was, I felt very, I think I felt pretty unsupported. So I'm not going to make that same mistake with my son. I'm going to show him that like, I got him no matter what. So 
anyways, um, a little worried about the bullying, but since he's not supposed to have any classes with this, the main girl who was causing issues, I'm hopeful. I'm also curious if the school remembered that. So I'll know more tomorrow, but yeah. And if he has any classes, I will be, I will be on the phone. Sorry, any classes with her, I will be on the phone. Um, oh, I don't know, man. I don't know why these kids are so mean, but, and I, I know, I think that parents are doing, I don't know, man. I wanted to say, I think parents are doing the best they can with the information they have, but get better information, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, huh. Suffice to say, I'm just, I'm hopeful that this year is better and I'm excited for him to get back into a routine, see his friends, meet his teachers, get busy with his classes, and see what the year brings. I'm trying to keep an open mind. And I have told him, um, I actually just had this conversation with him again the other day. I was like, listen, if at any point you want to try a different school, we can do that. So, I think it's helpful for him to know that like he has options. He's not stuck. He doesn't have to go to this school. He can, we can opt in to a different school. That is fine. If you know what I, like, yeah. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. I think he wants to stay where he's at though, because he likes his friends and I can't blame him for that. Cause he has a wonderful group of friends. Um, I don't know why I said, um, I said that like I was going to say something more. I don't know how I feel about this lipstick. Not to change the subject. It's like a weird, like it's creamy. Sorry, it's the Huda Beauty Bullet Lipstick in the shade Girl Strip. It's a, it's a matte, but it's not like a suffocating matte. It feels a little bit thin but it's not. Do I like you? I don't know. I like it. I like the color. And that's all that really matters at this moment. Um, what else did I use? Oh, the highlight I was using is the Juvia's Place um, liquid highlight that just came out a few months ago in the shade Ivory. Really pretty. I've mentioned in other videos that the packet, like the component ripped off like the velvet of the doe foot. So I've got some velvet just like in it, which is a little bit, uh, I don't know about that, but it's not, I'm not noticing chunks of it on my face. So I think that's a positive, but yeah. Okay. So that is, that's it. That's all I really, I don't know, vacation, new school year, woes, but excitement. Th those were the, the big things on my list of things to talk about today. So as always, I thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up, subscribe before you go, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.